Okay, today we're going to look at a software. It's called Waypad. This software I use myself when I'm recording and many times doing different things with the sound. And it's a free software as long as it's uh, non commercial. So as long as you don't take uh, money for what you produce, you can use it on the free free platform. So what, you, what I was uh, writing here was on Google, I, write, I was writing Vapad free. Made a search and it's this uh, Vapad NCHH software. They actually have more than one but what we want to have is this one here. Download the free version here. So that's the one we're going to download. Click here. We're going to install it. As we install it, let us see. What option there comes. We do not want to install any other than this one. So we, we uh, remove this. This will uh, be the opening window every time you open this free version. Certify this program is being used for non-commercial home use only. Okay. I do not want to <laughs> view any special offer. Okay, let us see on this software in a very easy way how can we make a recording. I do believe we can. Um, here we see we have a uh, mono stereo sample rate. You see, as I clicked, it uh, changed from mono to stereo. It all depends on what microphone you have, but mostly. If it's a small small uh, jack and you're connecting it like with a headset like I'm doing here, I would prefer prefer stereo and a sample rate of um, 44,100. That's okay. It should, uh, as long as you have connected your headset to the right uh, gate, one in the for the phones and one for the microphone, it should find it when you start to record N2 N2 as you see here it found it and uh, the sound wave what you see here are the sound waves of this recording okay and here you see warning the record was too loud with sample above no decibel shown red it may be disturbed when it's saved to file so then we have to reduce the levels. Then we go into record option here. We go into um, properties. I look at the. I would lower it a little bit, perhaps down to 80, something like that. One, two, one, two. Perhaps it was actually a little bit low, but. Let me see here. Let us go down to 70. Okay. I think it would be okay now. We want it to be not too low. We don't want the signal to be very low down here. We want the signal to reach about between 6 and 3. That would be very nice. Because then, then you don't have to um, increase the sound so much because very often you will get the background noise if you normalize it to a higher level okay then we will stop the recording here as you see here is, is the file that we are we have been recording the first part was a little bit loud I can what I do here left click with my mouse hold it down drag it over here now this is blue this blue is marked and I can take delete and now it's deleted all this blue that I had 
So if it was something here I wanted to delete, I was, example, <coughs> and then I could just find this point, point of where it was, and I could and I can remove it like that. And uh, what you want to do, as you see here, some some waves can be very high, as this one was very high. If I want to normalize this to a level that is more, it's a little bit better. The highest one will be the one that will be the one that is the leading how much it shall be normalized. So it would be nice to have a little bit better adjust before we normalize it. What we can do is to compress it a little bit. In that way, the sound will be more equal. So we can use a tool called Compressor. There are some pres presets here. Smooth Compressor. Soft Limit, Hard Limit. The limiter it tells, I don't want it to go extend a certain limit. Let us see. Fast compressor. How it will work. We're going to apply it. Okay, I will uh, put my, ch my chin to, and now you see here, this place here. This was very loud, loud before. Now, of course, it's a little bit small. But what we have done is that we have reduced many of the, those that was much higher than the other. And now we can normalize it to 89. Then it will be okay. Signal to be very low down here. We want the signal to reach about between 6 and 3. That would be very nice. Okay, what we want to do, you know, I'm also recording at the same time, so I'm actually very impressed with this new software that I'm using. It is called uh, Active Presenter, and it showed itself to be very good. So I, I really like it. It's the first time I'm using it to make this um, movie here. Okay, there are you know, sometimes people will have some more noise here. Like a shh. What you can do then? You can... Uh, I do believe the cleanup have some tools to help you with this. I would use this auto spectral subtraction. Slower speed, best quality. And uh, apply to voice. But me myself, I don't have much uh, noise in the background. This uh, sound is good, so I think it will be okay. But sometimes, if you have a microphone with a lot of, um, you know, some people have a big man man voice <laughs> with a lot of b b bass. What you could do is to reduce this sound in a way. You could take, for example, if you if we write here, fifty. Now it will uh, remove the hertz below fifty. So we take apply. So it reduced. What you also can do if some 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 here can be very high compared to the other, you can do like this. You will find a place. This is just an example how it can be done. You can amplify. 
100% means that it is like it is now. So if we reduce it to 72 to a higher level, then it will be nice. You can manually go in here. Also with this other one here. It was a little bit loud compared to the other. Amplify. Use the same here. Actually now we will have a more correct setting on the sound down to 70 if we normal if we uh, normalize it now so um don't want the signal to be very low down here we want the signal to reach about between 6 so and 3 so that's not so bad that would be very nice but you know if you want to share it on the internet you have to make some changes because this is uh, made in wave format that is the that is the cd format used for cds what you could do is to um, record and make a recording like this and if you have a lot of space you can save it as wave to have the best quality but in this in this instance no in this um Tutorial as I show here. I, be I do believe that uh, when you are having speeches, then for not uh, because some speeches, if you're making a sermon, it can be perhaps an hour or something, perhaps more, and it will take a lot of space in some time when you've made some recordings. So you might consider to use a compressed format called MP3. This is a format that is very used on the internet when you are to share the files on the net. What we will do then, we will save the file as. You see here? Save file as. We will have an mp3. You can do like this, make a recording. And it will be very nice. Test one. Okay. As you see here, we have chosen MP3, MPEG layer tree. We take next. At this here, you will get some new settings. What we want to do in this case. We are creating a sermon. We were recording in stereo. So we want this setting now because now the file will be stored and it will be good enough. It will be good quality. And it will be stereo 128. And it will not take so much space on your computer. And we press OK. Okay, as we now close it, we will find the file. If I open, open file. I can go to um, music, recorder sermons. And here I find this file that I was storing on my computer on music. I would open it. And you see here, here it is. An example, if it was uh, you wanted to make it shorter, it was something you wanted to remove. It is want it to be still good enough low. quality. We don't want to, to do the signal to be very low down here. But what you must remember is that you have already made it that as MP3. If you again save it as MP3, it will be reduced some inequality. So just remember that. So the best way to make, if you're going to make many files, I will prefer first save it as wave. Then I would save it as MP3 128 to store it as in good quality. Then, if I wanted to share it on the internet and if the bandwidth is not so high, I would try to reduce the the 
size of this very much. So that still I would use um, MP3, and I would just um, what I would do I would um, use an ending on it and call it what I want it to be. For example, mono and um, as you have it here, you could example call the sermons, you could do like this MP3 this one was in 128 or you could uh, and you could do like this and you can put it in here so you would know the file that you were to upload where it was later if you need to find it store now I would change it to mono this will help you to reduce the size but the quality of the sound will be better if I have chosen stereo it will be not so good sound as I was choosing mono when I'm reducing the size so we want the file to be very small so we're going to use 32 and mono Take OK. Now I can close this. I will find uh, my files here. Record the summons. I'll go here to 32. Test it. Let me see here. Let this go down to 70. I think it would be OK now. We want it to be not too low. We don't want the signal to be very low down here. We want the signal to reach about between 6 and 3 that would be very nice because then then you don't have okay so you get the picture you could use uh, as a example 64 mono 2 or 64 stereo perhaps but you you need to choose yourself what you would like to use but here you have got a small view of how you can do things May the Lord bless you in the good work and help you to uh, be able to do this. Amen.